I had to ask myself, can I make a clock right here? I'm pouring two part epoxy. It's at the end of the jug, so I'm trying to use as much of it as I can. I think I use like 11 grams or something like that, pretty close to that. Epoxy has a shelf life, so I think this jug I've had since the beginning of the year, so it's pretty much um, for I can tell by how thick it is and I can't really get it clear, so it's pretty much at the end. I'm going to use all the rest of it in these next couple of projects, but I got rid of most of it in this project right here. I've actually done a bunch of resin projects. I believe some of the videos are here on YouTube on my uh, Smartest Dummy channel. This channel, Can I Make a, is my new channel that I'm dedicating strictly to crafting. So if you go over to Smartest Dummy, and I'm quite sure it's linked here, you can go over and see some of the other projects I've done. Whether it's uh, epoxy resin or um, sublimation or making shirts and other crafting things. So right here I'm, I'm mixing the epoxy. It's going to be pretty long mix and I think you can skip to four minutes if you want to skip most of this. So you, you basically just mix this for, uh, depending on how much it is now, this was a, a, like 20 ounces I believe. So I, I mixed four, three to five minutes I believe. So. And I couldn't get it clear. So, but I tried and that soda bottle is a, a cut off. Sunkiss one liter bottle. I will leave that link to it in case you want a Sunkiss one liter. I bought it from Burger. Right here, I'm putting my cups down that I'm going to pour the epoxy in. Those cups come from Dollar Tree, so you can get those from Dollar Tree. I'm not going to drink the cups. Maybe I will. I don't know. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do three separate colors of epoxy. So my first color is orange and it's it's glowing in the dark orange. And the second color is this yellow or indigo or something. And the the third color was green. And here you can see I'm mixing. I didn't mix this very well because I wanted to have a, a streaky effect. So I didn't mix either color very well. But all the colors glowing in the dark. 
and you won't see it on camera, but I actually added some uh, glow in the dark powder to each color to give it the glow in the dark look, a deeper glow in the dark, because I've had that glow in the dark paint for a while. And it's also a uh, day glow and UV activated. So you can use a UV light to charge it up, or just leave it in the sun. But don't leave resin in the sun because it'll get really pliable and it will uh, conform to whatever shape you leave it sitting on. So here's the model I got it from Timo. I've been trying to find a cheap clock model for some months now. So I finally found one on Timo. I believe it was around $12.99. And you can find that in the description if you want. So I'm pouring the colors uh, layer by layer. Orange first, then yellow, then green. And if you can, if you see, you can see it's kind of streaky. I pretty much mixed up enough enough epoxy to fill the entire mold. My surface wasn't really level, so it was kind of lopsided. But I'm making this for me, so it really don't matter. You can see it's kind of streaky there. It looks kind of like eggs and egg yolk right there. And there's orange. I did, and you'll see it in a second, spoiler alert, mix up more of the yellow and more of the glow in the dark powder. And I took the, the mixer and mixed the colors together a little bit for a better mixing effect. So here I am mixing the yellow and the uh, glow in the dark powder with the little powder I got. I had a bunch of them. I need to order more. The little, uh, that's a screwdriver. That's the electrical screwdriver I got for my five year anniversary at my job. So I'm still using it. I'm in my 12th year at my job now. There it goes. I call myself mixing the epoxy a little better. It looked too stringy at first, so now I had the idea to mix the colors together. And here's the pour. I thoroughly mixed the second uh, yellow, so it, it kind of thickened, thickened it all up. As you can tell, this is the next day um, I'm molding. It typically takes epoxy weeks to fully cure. This was less than 24 hours later. So it's, it's pretty, it's, it's cured enough for me to do what I have to do next, but it's still very pliable. Even 24 hours later, it'll be hard enough that you really can't bend it. So here, as you can see, I have resin tape, and I'm going to use that to tape up the holes up. And the way this mold was sold is to leave the holes as holes, but I didn't want to leave the holes as holes. I wanted to put epoxy in the holes, so I'm using resin tape to tape it up. You can use uh, packing tape, shipping tape. I've used all of that and it all works pretty well. Anything that'll withstand the heat of the epoxy carrying and won't allow leaking. Here I'm using a syringe. I mixed up uh, more epoxy, well, the same epoxy. I added some, as you can see, some red tint and some glow in the dark powder. I'm gonna do it at the 12, the four, the six, and the eight o'clock whatever you call those situa situations. So I'm gonna fill all those up with this red epoxy blown drop alcohol ink mixture with my syringe. And that's my last syringe, so I gotta get more. So as you can see right here, I'm using a funnel, which didn't actually work very well. And I added to more of the epoxy, more of the yellow blown the dark paint of the glowing of the dark powder and I filled all the rest of the situations up and it was very messy.
here I am the next, next day. Again, less than 24 hours later, and I'm removing the resin tape. And as you can see, the situations have cured enough to remove the tape. This is the clock mechanism. First time I ever made a clock, first time I ever tried to put together a clock mechanism. It went really well. I got it in there after a few tries. I didn't show myself doing all the tries. And this this not even the best try. This is the one that I recorded, so this is the one that you get. These are the hands. I bought a kit with, uh, I think, three sets of hands and two uh, mechanisms. So I looked at a YouTube video of how to install these before I installed them. And I think I did a pretty good job installing them. It actually took a few minutes. What you see here was not successful, but I, in the end, I was successful. This gives you the gist of it. So the question was to myself, I pose, can I make a clock? Yes, I can make a clock. And so can you, especially if you like, subscribe and comment. Comment and tell me how you think I did. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you like the colors? Do you like the, do you like the way that I did? Or you have any advice for me in the future? I, would like to hear from you and sub subscribe to my other page smart is dunny that page is is not like this one so and here is the end result i actually put the movement on the wrong side this is not the side that i wanted to display but it is what it is and it works and it's still hanging on my wall i think it came out pretty good kind of looks like a flag from a country that's not this one maybe like Jamaica or something like that but anyway as always or maybe for the first time thank you for watching